So 3% headline, 2.7% on the call. We've also had Ian McCafferty and Gertian Vlieger of the BOE come out with pretty hawkish messages this week following that hawkish hold that we got from the BOE last week. Are we going to get a rate hike in May? Absolutely. I think that's been the base case for us since August or, or November of last year. Uh, we two hikes a year is our forecast. What's happened now is the market's pretty much pricing that. So we had about 41 basis points before the CPI number. The Bank of England expected 3% today. So the reason why the pound's not materially moved higher, <coughs> I don't have a chart in front of me, but it's pretty much not moved that much, is because the market knows the Bank of England expected that. They expect inflation to start declining. So do we. Uh, most people are calling the peak of inflation. The irony is we were calling for the peak of inflation in October, November, and we're still here in January and we're not seeing it. I think it's going to slowly come out and we're going to slowly get to 2%. And that's the market forecast. That's the Bank of England's forecast. So does it move the needle on sterling? Well, like you said, McCafferty, Flieger, and even Broadbent over the weekend. Everyone's talking about two hikes is not, cra is not, is not going to offset the recovery. And the market's looking at two hikes and the pound's not moved very much. Yeah. So for now, we've just taken off our long sterling positions. After being long all this time, we've just taken off our short euro sterling. We've taken off our long sterling Aussie. Right. Medium term, I think sterling goes higher. Short term, positioning stretched, the market's pricing in a rate hiking cycle, and the good news on CPI is offset by the potential for a political upset coming up soon. Yeah.